Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a charity shop haul. So, a few days ago I had a really nice score from a charity shop um, that actually holds things back for me and they said, come in the back, we've got some stuff for you and I was excited, I get that little bit of a rush when we say that, I'm like, oh what can it be? And um, yeah, it was something really cool and I'm going to show it you now. So, I paid £30 for the job lot of this stuff um, I've got some sort of multiple quantities of things, but rather than show you like four of the same item, I'll just hold up the one item and say I've got two of these or I've got three of these or whatever, um, because some of them are actually not in this room currently. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will show you what I got. It's exciting. Um, it's stuff that I really like dealing with. I don't know why I like dealing with it, but it's just stuff I like dealing with. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll show you the razors first. So, I got this big box, I don't really know how this is going to work, but I just wanted to sort of show you how many I've actually got. Um, but yeah, I've got that big box full of these things, which is Persona Complementary Razors, Razor Blades. Um, at least I think that's what they are, I'm like 90% sure that's what they are. I mean, it says worth 8D, uh, a free gift from Total with four gallons, so I imagine petrol station total. Um, don't know whether it's still going or not, but I don't I don't hear of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what sort of age these are. I mean, I'm thinking 60s, but I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I honestly, that, that would just be a guess, to be fair. Um, but I checked out, I did a bit of research. Some of the Persona stuff has seemed to do, uh, seem to do well uh, internationally, like there's been some good international sales of it. Um, but I can't see these on anywhere, these are like a makeupaprice.com. Make I'm thinking of doing them in bundles of 10 and not, you know, if I do a buy it now listing with like a bundle of 10, I'm not going to put quantity 10 or quantity 11 or quantity 12 on the listing. So like I wouldn't do um, one listing with a, a, cert, a set quantity. I would just do one listing with, you know, one quantity because that way people think they're the, that's the only quantity I've got. I've only got 10 of them. And with the kind of item it is, I think that will work in my favour because then people will be more tempted to buy quite quickly because they think, well, these are the only 10. They think that I've only got 10 and they're like, I, you know, I need these, I want these for a collection, or display, or museum, or whatever it is, um, then we're going to be more tempted to buy. So, I'm thinking of doing that, and then when one, you know, when the listing sells, I just relist it. Um, and I think that's a better tactic with things like that. Um, so yeah, that's those, they were, you know, included in the £30, and I think I'll easily clear my £30 and some on those. I think they should be really good actually, just because of the quantity I've got. Um, and you know, the great condition, really, really nice. Really, really nice condition for her age. I know it's not showing up very well, but they are really nice condition. Um, I also got this, this guy. Now, some someone's listed a very, very, very similar one of these. For £75. Um, I don't know whether that's achievable. It seems a little bit high for uh, to me, you know, it seems like that's a bit shooting to be fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to get. This seems to be like the more recent one. It just, the packaging looks a little bit more recent. I mean, when I say more recent, I, I, I mean, I don't mean like last week or anything, but a little bit more recent than maybe the razor blade, so, but yeah, anyway, that's that, I, I, I honestly do not know on price on that, I'm tempted to put that on an auction, because, again, this has sort of been like a negl negligible cost in the job lot, the things that I really wanted and the things that I paid for were, were the next few bits that, I, uh, that I'll show you, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know about that, but I will, I will tell you how I get on, so that then you'll, you will know, um, but yeah, certainly some money in that. These two are a little bit lower value, but I think these are great. I do, I like these. Really vibrant colours, sunlight soap. 
I think that's a great name as well, a great brand name. I mean, there's no creativity, is there, anymore with these brand names, but that is cool, that is like olden days, you know, sunlight soap, you know, right in your face. I can imagine the old advert as well coming on as well. Sunlight soap, you know, all that sort of stuff, but yeah, it's oh, how great they are. Um, but yeah, and then I got that one. Um, that one, to me, I don't know, I mean, I think maybe... I don't know, I'm trying to sort of date them a little bit. I would say that one looks fairly sort of 60s-ish. Um, I might be slightly off there, but it looks cool. It looks cool. But I'm going to bundle them two. These are a bit low value, but like, I've seen a bundle of three of these go on, buy it now for 15 quid. So, you know, I'll bundle these up. I don't know, might be able to squeeze a tenner plus postage out of them. But I don't know, it depends if any of any are actually on. Because if there's none on eBay, I can charge a little bit more, you know. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's those. I've got four. I've got two down there, and then I've got one over there. Four of these fairy snow. Some are in a little bit rougher condition. Like that one there, it's got a bit of cave, can cave in there. But they're not bad. Um... Now, these have gone, buy it now, they've gone 14 99 plus postage, and then someone's got 19 99 They're the only two listings I could see on there for the last three months. Um, and I think I could push a bit higher, to be fair. I am tempted to put one of these on auction and see how it does on auction, and then put the other three on buy it now. I, I mean, I'm covered anyway, because if I put the three on buy it now, I, you know, I'm... I'm basically in profit anyway, and then if I put my other one on auction, if it fails, then it fails, doesn't it? I mean, it's not too bad, as long as I cover my postage cost and that. But I just want to see what it does, I'm just quite excited just to see what it would do on auction. Maybe it would go less than buy it now, I don't know, but... Anyway, yeah, there those. Um, I'm thinking of pushing 25, maybe 30 on those. I don't think there's any on. I don't think there's any on, so... I'll probably go 30 comfortably on those. That's plus postage. Um, but yeah, as I say, I've got four of those, so I'm happy with that. Um, and you can sort of see the money. You know, there is quite a bit of money in this stuff. And it, and people want it. Um, they do. It's like they're, they're hot items. Um, and then I've got four of the old Omo. Now, I saw this before, and it's gone... On buy it now, it's gone as low as £13. I didn't sell it for 13 I think I sold it for like 15 plus postage or... I don't know, something, you know, it's like 15 quid, something like that. Um, but it's gone as high on auction for 41 quid. Now, I don't know what that was. Some two nutters maybe getting in a buy it, bidding war or something, but yeah. Um, so it's all over the shop, really. I mean, if there's not many on... Um, I think I did check, and I think there was a few on, um, but I might be tempted to go sort of 20, 25 on that. This one seems like a slightly lower value one, um, but yeah, sort of 20, 25 maybe on that. Um, I could maybe push 30, but I think that's shooting a little bit too much on that one, because I have seen them on in the past for quite low. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got four of them, so happy with that. Um... What else? And then there's uh, there's one over there. The other one is in here. And was this the one that's not in? Oh no, but it, there's one that isn't in great condition. It must be the one over there because this one's in good condition. The one over there has a little bit of sort of marks on on the design here. Um, but yeah, still cool. Um, and then. I got this one which I've stuck on for quite high to be fair. Um, this is a flash. Now I've sold a smaller flash one of these for 15 quid I believe. Um, so I thought, oh it's a, it's about double the size so we'll double the price. So I've got that on for 30 quid. Whether it'll go, I don't know. Um, it has got considerable wear. As you can see there, it's a little bit dented and stuff there. Um, but it's still, it's not terrible. I mean, considerable wear might be a little bit of an overstatement, but, 
you know, it's got definite wear maybe. But um, but yeah, we'll see if that goes at 30. I think I've got best off on it. So yeah, we'll just see on that one. It might go for a bit less. Um, and I think that was it for the vintage washing powder stuff. Um, and think that was that it? Yeah, I think that was it. So I think that's going to be a great little investment, that and a great little earner. Um, and I, yeah, I just love pick. I love picking that up. It's really good. I've had it. I've had new old. Well, I've had new old stock about three times now. I've had it in an auction job lot, and I've had this, and I've had the other washing powder. And I really like dealing with the new old stock. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I'm thinking definitely sort of going to an auction um, and finding some more of the new old stock because um, I think that will be my best chance to get it. Um, and yeah, I will actually show you one more item before we go. Um, but yeah, I just really like dealing with it. It's cool. Um, and I think if you, if you can get it at the right price, there's some fantastic profits in it. And it seems like people want it, so maybe it's like the hot thing at the moment, maybe it'll phase in and out of sort of popularity, but yeah, it seems pretty good at the moment. Um, and then finally the other day, well, not finally, but the other day um, I got this from the old charity shop, uh, Saturn 6-in-1 chest, £3, chest, chest, um, £3, and yeah, these do alright, you can get like 15 to 20 um, I probably wouldn't pay more than three quid for it. I paid three quid numerous occasions, actually. I've had it about four or five times now. Um, but yeah, it goes for good money. It goes for all right money. I wouldn't say good money, but all right money. Um, and you yeah, obviously you just have to test that it's working because it's an electronic one. Um, and almost every time it said checks or whatever. You know, I bought it from a charity shop numerous times. It said checks and it's been complete, which is unusual because a lot of times when I've had so many instances where it said checked on a label and it's not been complete so yeah anyway but I've always had good success with that so yeah I'll leave it there I think I mean there's a few other little bits of oh yeah I knew there was something else I knew there was something else I got these for three pound in a charity shop RAC cufflinks um, I just went on them because on auction, some similar ones, but with some orange in, because orange is like the brand colour. Um, but with some orange in, went for uh, like eight or nine quid, nothing spectacular. But that was on auction, so I was thinking, I'd probably get 12 to 15 pound by it now. So I took a chance on those at three pound, and I thought, why not? Why not expand my horizons a little bit, pick up something unusual? Like I don't do that anyway, but anyway, yeah, so I'll leave it there guys Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys